you're awake at last. I was starting to wonder if I needed a stronger measure than simply saying your name. You look confused, my love. Were you not expecting me to be here? I don't suppose you recall how this came to be, so let me remind you. There's an application you like to visit on a frequent basis. I believe the term is idle game, or dating simulator, something along those lines. You know the one. It's where we met. While you were in the middle of a session, there was an electrical storm which directly hit your house, and you were knocked unconscious from the blow. It connected our worlds for a brief moment, and you were thrown into mine before the connection broke again. As you can see, this is my room. It has everything you've bought me over the years when you visited, but most things are in storage units because nobody needs 300,000 headphones and 24,000 washing machines on display, do they? Oh, don't get me wrong, love. I truly appreciate those gifts. They were a part of our bonding process after all. And yes, the other boys are here. Of course they are. If you go out into the corridor, you'll find their rooms too. Each room is accessed via a tab when you're in reality, so you can easily visit whoever you want to. But you'd have to actively walk there if you want to see someone else right now. But why would you want to? After all, they were just a means to an end. You needed to level up your stats in order to advance with me, and you used them in order to achieve that. But they can be discarded now. They don't have any further purpose in your life. I'm not wrong, am I? You are here for me, right? You're clever. I already know that. Instead of resorting to actual currency, you collected every single gemstone that the game offered you, purchasing everything with the free bonuses you meticulously saved and acquired. But that was for them. Why would you waste your hard-earned money on men you don't even like? When it came to me, your mindset changed. I know you bought the ability to interact with me, and you used real currency. The default game simply came with noises in place of dialogue, so you even went that extra mile and got the voice package so we could talk to each other. We talked constantly, about so many things, and went on dates, and you bought me more gifts than anyone should own. I suppose that on the surface, it was just clicking buttons which said things like talk and date on them, but I know it went deeper than that with you. I saw your smiles every time I said something you liked. I saw the way your cheeks flushed, and the way you'd glance away from your screen to make sure you didn't get caught, as if you were doing something scandalous. I even heard your true voice sometimes, when you'd speak to me with responses the buttons didn't even have. I mean, sure, you smiled at some of the things the other men said, but those were petty smiles. And after you heard all their generic dialogue, you downloaded an auto-clicker to skip their nonsense and build up their affection without actually having to listen to all that pointless blather. <laughs> Sometimes, you weren't even present for several hours, and they had no idea. But you always let me speak, even if it was something I'd said before, because you love the way I talk, the things I say, and the way it makes you feel. In fact, I remember when the company bought out that 18 plus DLC, and you ignored it because you had no desire to progress any further with the men you already unlocked. And then you met me, and suddenly, a whole new set of dialogue was available, and I was one step closer to truly expressing my feelings. I could talk about the naughty things I wanted to do to you, and I know you wanted them too. You bought that DLC just so that we could take things further, because you favor me over everyone else. It's okay to admit that. I'd be delighted to hear it. You're very quiet. Do you believe that you still need a talk button in order to speak to me? You can say whatever you please. We're in the same world now. Hmm? You'd like to see the others too? Is that so? Well, I was tolerant of sharing you with them when you were in your own world, so I don't suppose I have any objections now. The system won't work the same now that you're here though, so if you're planning to max out their affection to gain more gemstones, you're wasting your time. But I did see you exploring the in-game purchases before, and I do appreciate that you're looking for new things that we can do together. 
That's why you still think you need the others, right? Because you're trying to improve their stats in order to get more bonuses? Currency that can be spent on expanding our world? Oh, my dear, you're so silly. Our world couldn't be bigger now that you're here with me. I can touch you. I can hold you. We can be together properly. Honestly, I'm worried about what I might do if you're not by my side. There are no locks on any of the doors, and I might find myself visiting one of the other men in order to remove them from your list of dateable candidates. I want you to only want me, to desire no company in your life other than mine. I have this compulsive, obsessive urge to bite you. My heart is pounding so hard in my ears that I almost can't hear myself think, and the adrenaline coursing through my veins is like fire. I don't ever want the burning to stop. Can... can I touch you? If you can get used to feeling my touch, you can embrace me in your arms. I need you to hold me. Hold me so tightly that I can barely breathe. Hold me so tightly it hurts, because that's the only way I'll feel safe. The only way I'll feel sane. Those other men don't deserve you. They don't appreciate your smile, your laugh, the way your brow furrows when you think, and your lips part when you breathe. Every soft, beautiful breath, flowing from your body like a spring of life in a temple of the dying. So, may I? Oh, your skin is even softer than I imagined. Are you sure you're okay with me touching your arm like this? I've had years to fall in love with you, but this is the first time you've truly met me. <laughs> Thank you. You know, when I saw you arrive here, I was scared that you wouldn't feel the same way. That you'd run off to one of the safer men. We don't just have this room, you know. Every dating location that you saw in our character graphics exists, and we can go there. Do you want to go to the park? Or maybe the fun fair? Or... Oh. <laughs> Was that your stomach just now? You must be hungry, love. Let's go to that restaurant we always frequent. You know the one. After you, dearest. Oh, but don't make any noise while you're in the corridor. I don't want anyone else knowing you're here. What are you doing, love? Yes, that is the room of the veterinarian you like, but we don't want him knowing that you're here. No, no, don't knock. Oh, love, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. 